Hello, viewers. This is our special program. Here I have guests from Ogaden National Liberation Front, Mr. Abdul Qadir Hassan, the spokesperson of the front, and Ogaden Human Rights Committee Human Rights Advocate, Mr. Hamad Yassin. Dear guests, welcome to Oromia Media Network. Thank you for having us, Abraham. Just what is the detail of the agreement between OMLF and Ethiopian government? Let me start from you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, still, it's going on. What's going on is a conference building and preliminary uh, negotiation. We expect the coming week uh, started a deeply negotiation and genuine negotiation, and we hope we we settle our 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 difference with Ethiopian government. And actually, now we are engaging with our people. We are engaged with Ethiopian opposition party, with uh, frontists like us, like OLF and other other movements was against was uh, against TPLF or last regime, a previous previous regime. So we expect that real uh, negotiation will start after two weeks, and we will get some resolutions. Yeah, the negotiation. We, 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 as uh, Mr. Adani said, we are, we are in confidence building right now. We are uh, engaging the community, the different organizations. We already have spoken to uh, different levels of government, and uh, but uh, our concern right now is to talk to our Oromo brothers and sisters. Uh, we have spoken to different Oromo organizations. Um, and now what we want is that to engage uh, our youth, to engage uh, our farmers uh, that who are neighbors, and uh, discuss how we, we've been living, uh, Romo and Somalis have been living together for generations, and we want to collaborate and work together in terms of uh, building this country and, and, and having a prosperity uh, and peace collectively. Thank you. Uh, what is the stance of on the current Ethiopian political reform? We see good steps uh, done by Prime Minister Senesi Kambawa. We, we see some change, attitude, political uh, environment, human rights environment, and, and open uh, press. Uh, you can express your, your, your voice. So it's a different, different too much from, from last regime. And we hope we keep going uh, dialogue with this government, and especially in Somali issue or Ogaden issue, it's a very hard issue. But we want to discuss genuinely and deeply, and and get some uh, resolutions and and last peace for for Ogaden people. And yeah. We, 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 we have good hope with this government, and we will evaluate after one, one month how far our negotiation is going on. What is the stance of ONLF on the current Ethiopian political reform? Oh, well, we appreciate it. I always ask myself, am I in Addis Ababa? Yeah. Because we could not say things like this, uh, or we will not even dare to come here and feel safe. Uh, the current Prime Minister, and how he took on the left, oil left, all of them, uh, uh, you know, take off the terrorist list, and how openly we are engaging and discussing about our concerns. Uh, um, even though uh, the reform sometimes looks like it's going too quickly, uh, and uh, it looks like you know, that everything is going fast, but at the same time. Um, we think that this is a positive direction. Uh, we hope, well, and that's one of the reasons that we came uh, uh, and showed that the government that uh, human rights advocates like myself, uh, who were not even able to come before, uh, on the left, who could not came uh, either before this, even before they even started the negotiation, openly say that, okay, you know what, Mr. Prime Minister, we take your word. We respect what you're doing. We uh, think that we can contribute 
the peace and stability in the region. Uh, and uh, we are more than willing to collaborate and work with you if we are genuine about peace and reconciliation. So what's happening, it's unbelievable. And thanks to uh, both uh, uh, our Ormo youth that, who did a great job in terms of demonstrating, in terms of uh, speaking up and say that no more we really scare to express our concern and we want to change. Uh, the Oromo community and Oromo people play a huge role, uh, as well as uh, Somalis and ONLF and other uh, uh, organizations, human rights activists, that who pressure uh, the change that took place in the Somali region as well. So we, we uh, I appreciate not only the Prime Minister, but the people of Ethiopia, uh, whether uh, the Somali region, uh, or the Oromo or youth that who, who contribute a lot. There is a long-standing relation and brotherhood between Oromos and the Somali. What do you think should be done to sustain this relationship? Uh, I think we, we have to keep in this direction and the government have to engage dialogue with serious organizations like ONLF, OLF, or Gimbotsal who was opposed, clearly, the previous uh, government politics towards Ethiopian ethnics. So I think uh, government, they have to discuss deeply with these uh, uh, relevant organizations, like ONLF or OLF, or similar organizations. And we have some coalition we call BAFD. We created before two years. There's some major, uh, m most people who, who feel oppressed, uh, like Somalis, Oromo, Sidamo, and Bilishangol, and Gambella. We, we create uh, a strong coalition. And we, 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 we hope we will, we will discuss with government to reform Ethiopia uh, uh, th through constitution and political process. This done, done by last regime or TPLF or all the OPDO, uh, uh, I, I mean EBRDF. EBRDF, they done since 1991. So we need deeply reform and, and creation uh, uh, new, new, new environment uh, for Ethiopian political uh, situation. Would you shed a light on the strategy of the Ogaden National Liberation Front from now on? We didn't change our, our ideology, but we are ready for negotiation and deeply negotiation. As a Somali people, we, we feel we are occupied by Ethiopian regimes and Ethiopian Highlanders. So, but we are ready to, to discuss with government. And we we fighting not for secession only, we fight for self determination, and self determination is negotiable. We can negotiate with government about uh, Somali uh, Somali future, Somali people crawl in Ethiopia, and for example, we are we feel we are not real Ethiopians, and Ethiopians they feel we are not Ethiopian. At the same time, geographically we are part of Ethiopia. And this, because of that, the fighting between uh, Ethiopian government and Somali people is, is continuing since 1948. So ONLF now is ready because it's the first time it's ruled by uh, uh, not traditional groups who rule Ethiopia. So we think there's a chance. Uh, and Oromo people, they were was oppressed, people, oppressed people, and they were victim like us and and we think we can think the same way or we feel same feeling and we can find the same solution for Oromo case and Somali case uh, therefore we we get some signs from Prime Minister this issue it can solve now thank you here we are together we sit here and now the, Somali, the former Somali president Abdi Muhammad Umadi in the court. What is your reaction about the 
being under custody or being under custody of the Somali regional president Abdi Muhammad Zuma. Yeah. Uh, Somali people they suffer a long time. Uh, when we talk each other as a Somali, we say since nineteen since Menelik, we was targeted by Ethiopian army. We operated during Haile Selassie up to last level. And Mingist, he, he used heavy army against uh, innocent people of Ugaden. During Gimelis, what happened last 27 years is, is uh, unimaginable. So uh, we think there is a lot of Ethiopian officers, Somalis, and non-Somali speaking, committed genocide and crimes, and big, big, unbelievable crimes against Somali people. So we, our people, they waiting. Some uh, non-speaker Somalis who who did genocide or human rights abuse in Somali uh, in Ogaden Somalis people, they become to uh, on the front of the chest. Thank you, Mr. Ramad. What is your reaction about the being under custody of uh, the former Somali regional president of the Muhammad Umar? It is. Uh, a welcome news, but we what we will say is this: Abdele was only one component of the people that who were committing heinous uh, genocide and human rights abuses in the region. There are people that will allow Abdele to exist there, who was providing the arms, who was giving him the a room to uh, commit that. We don't want to say that uh, all Abdul is out and uh, the problem is finished. We want people that who was in charge during Abdul, that who were providing uh, uh, arms and orders. Uh, let's be honest. It was without Addis Ababa, Abdul would not have done what would not have done what he did. And governments and people were aware of what's happening. So we want everyone to be accountable. Uh, we don't want to ask, uh, they, they say that you, you show the cat a shiny stuff and, and all of a sudden you just get, really, when she said the cat just only gets confused for that. Abdil is only one component out of hundreds of other, other people that who were uh, allowing this kind of things to happen. If we are honest, if we are genuine, we want everyone to be accountable. And this is the only uh, one good step, but we want it. Uh, if we want to be reconciliation, if we're going to be honest about what took place, there are uh, there are a lot of non-Somalis who have committed this crime that we know who they are, and we want the Ethiopian government to make them accountable, as well as, and we want them to be arrested as soon as possible, just like Abdul has been done. There is a long-standing relation and brotherhood between Oromos and Somali. What do you think should be done to sustain this relationship? Thank you. Uh, I think it's very strange there is fighting between Somalis and Oromos. They are the same origin people. They live in centuries, 1,000 or more than 1,000 years. And their lands, they are scattered everywhere and their people they are, and their blood and their interest, economic, culture, religion, and life, they are same. There is no any uh, strong reason make fighting between two, uh, two people. But the uh, two people become united, there is a lot of factors, culturally, religiously, religion, ethnic. We are same people, and we are suffering same problem, domination, Oppression, refuge, killing, uh, misleading, and political uh, marginalized. We are seeing. And we, we struggle together. Somali blood and Oromo blood, they, they, they become together against uh, uh, oppressed forces in Ethiopia. So we hope we, we, we can resolve. We start as a ONLF, as a Somali people. We start to to load our voice to our brothers, uh, regional government, federal government, 
and, and the people of Oromo inside and abroad. We call them through the uh, Omen media and other media and, uh, and small meetings. Uh, since, since we came at this, we meet, I think, more than uh, 10 or 15 organization, Oromo organizations for this purpose. So we hope we, we will get solution for this small problem. And it's, I think it's created by another hand. And the reason, of, uh, fight, the reason for fighting is uh, so simple and just frustration and hunger or some jobless people on, and mis political misleading, the result of political misleading, as I believe. So we will, we will, we will get solution and we call our people, Oromo and Somalis, to sit together and solve it quick. Our interest is, is uh, to become ally, to become hand in hand, to become peacefully, to be support each other. We live in together from Addis Ababa to up to Mogadishu, and we need to live, to live and to move. There is no any reason to make a problem between nearest ethnics in Ethiopia. They are Somali and Oromo, Somali and Afar, Oromo and Afar. And I think we, we, we have to initiate very quick and very strong in, uh, initiation to, to start a dialogue, to start a resolve, to start peaceful, to start life uh, moving between two communities. And we can, because we have regional government, federal government, elders, religion people, uh, business people, intellectual, media. We have to move. Nobody, uh, nobody can solve our problems. We can solve our problem, and we have ability. We believe that. Okay. Mr. Rahman, how can we extend a peace accord across the board? Uh, yes, yeah, um, I'm extremely, extremely disappointed that there is a kill, continuous killings between the Somalis and the Oromos, and perpetrated by the previous regime, and now it's continued, and we don't know what the root cause is. We are trying to uh, figure out what the root cause is. But I just want to tell this to my Oromo brothers and sisters. Both Oromos and Somalis are warriors. Both Oromos and brothers are, they have been living generations together. Uh, there was a small fightings and always they were trying to solve the problems collectively. Right now, as, as I speak to you, Moyale are basically cut off from Ethiopia. The only resource they get is coming from near, uh, the Kenya and its areas. There's no water running in Moyale. The uh, buckets of other Somalis are in, in different areas are like that. There was killings that uh, 14 people that were brought yesterday in Jigjiga, but we and, and some militia from different groups kill each other. This has to stop. Our problem is not between us. Our problem was before with the previous administrations of the Ethiopian government. Our problem is to get our rights, equality from this government, which we have uh, God-given rights. The dispute between us, we can solve it through dialogue. We cannot afford to kill each other. We're brothers, we are sisters, we live together, we have the same culture, some, some of us we have the same religion. So for me, seeing dead bodies that have been butchered, for me, hearing that I cannot travel from Dirdaba to Jigjiga peacefully, and if I'm traveling only by airplane, from the businesses that who have uh, transportations, they, if they are traveling, they need to change their uh, tags to a different, and then when they travel past Oromia area, put the tag back. It's not, it's not right, and it's not fair, and it's, it's inhumane. That's what's happening, and the tension that between the Oromo and the Somalis. So we have to look each other in the eyes and say that, what is the cause? 
if this was before, because of Abdi'ili, Abdi'ili is gone. If it's because the previous government is just trying to push each other to us, it's they're gone. If the prime minister's policy is peace and reconciliation between the uh, all people of Ethiopia and specifically the brothers, the Cushitic brothers of the Somalis and the Oromo people, this is our time. If this is our time, we have to be realistic, we have to be genuine, and we have to be smart about it, and we have to look for the bigger issue, not the small issues that uh, uh, land, small land, and anything else. We are bigger than that. We have bigger issues and bigger things that we need to discuss, and we need to stop. I'm telling our Somali brothers, and I'm telling our Oromo brothers, especially the youth, the message is loud and clear. We are one, and we should not be divided. And we should be united in getting our rights from this country that's been, be, generations was not been allowed for us to have it. Thank you. I, w I want yeah. to add, I want to, yeah, I want to add, uh, I get phone la last night from Belbelate area, and they say we are isolated in, in small area, we can't go to the cities. We need food, <coughs> sugar, and, and we we scared. There is some last three months, four months was stability, but they feel last two days some uh, fearing. And like like, like uh, Babili or Jinasani, Moyale, this uh, contact area, there is some tension. We can solve this problem. I want to talk to, to religion leaders and community leaders like uh, Abagada and Somali Ugasis and Sultanis and, and, and Gradis. So we, and also Somali, uh, Oromo and Somali youth. We need to come together. We need to support each other. We need to change Horn of Africa, not a small area of the border. We, I can live with Oromo people with my full dignity. And Oromo people, they can live Somali, in Somalia with, with uh, full of dignity. Yes. So, and, uh, and, and full of rights. And it was last uh, 2,000 years. So now we, we, we can't become host, host, uh, hostage for, for some uh, strongly created ha hate by another hand. So we, we have to uh, test our, our, our intelligence, our thinking, our, our, our power to solve a problem and to lead government and to build civil, civilization. So uh, and especially in, in, I want to say to uh, Oromo brothers and sisters, you just is better than us. The regional government is better than our regional government is not Table now, it's not completed, and now it's just in the beginning and re restart. But the Oromo regional government is uh, stable, and federal government, influ Oromo influence is more than Somali influence. And the Oromo community, economically and administration, and their, their fac all factors is, is, is stable or, or functioning. But Somalis, they are last. Uh, three, four months was unstable. The responsibility is more than in, in our own side, more than Somalis. So please uh, do your job and try to solve our, our, our problem. We, we are committed to, to solve that as an owner. We contact all elders in, in, the board, in the contact area and religion people and regional government and diaspora also, we send a message. We want to solve that problem within weeks, more than that. Thank you very much. Dear my Augustus, thank you for joining us. And we came to the end of our program. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much.